Hi all, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today I want to make a video on applied biomechanics for sports. I have talked a bit about this movie for a while now, so I, I thought I'd get around to do it and complete it. Go from focusing on muscles, go over to focus on structure and uh, how you position your skeleton in the best possible way to generate movement in the direction you want. You can see it as a movie segment and the person moving in space from point A to point B and during that movie segment you can divide it into different snapshots or still pictures and from there you take reference points where the joints are placed and uh, from there you can track the movement from image to image. We are going to take some reference points uh, just to track the movement and we start at the joints. Uh, we will go by the shoulders, elbows, wrists and for the lower body, hips, knees and ankles. The frontal plane, when you move from side to side. Then we have the sagittal plane, when you move forth and back. And then we have the transverse plane, when you move in a rotational manner. Here you have a run and skate cycle. Basically it's a step sequence. And uh, you have the reference points as we talked about before. Ankles, knees, hips, and uh, shoulders, elbows, and wrists. Here you can see changes in structure, changing weight from one side to another, and uh, decelerate and accelerate in the opposite direction. One important principle is bone rhythm. You bend the hip and the knee at the same time. So the femur moves around the same speed in both the upper and lower end. So that way you get a more fluid motion and uh, that will save you a lot of time and energy in the long run. Here we will pick out four structural angles in the moment flow. Here we trace the skeletal structure while moving in a rhythmic flow. As you change focus from muscles to moving your body from structure to structure, you will have to think a lot about how you position your body. Uh, that's natural in the beginning, but uh, the goal is to get that unconscious, so it's natural and you don't need to think about it. And when you move better and more economic, you will have a great career over from sport to sport, so uh, you will pick up new movement patterns easier. It is most about programming and repetitions. Lots and lots of repetitions. There are people applying the most advanced maths and physics to this. You can study it in depth if you want to, but understanding a few of the basic principles and uh, learn how to apply them and spot the patterns will take you very far.
Here you have a flow between different structures and also some rotational movement. the links in the videos I share in the description it's some different kinds of sports and you can watch them through the lens of uh, these principles I have talked about and uh, you will see that there are a lot of carryovers from sports to sports and once you uh, get used to looking for these points you can, can use them in a very very broad perspective I also recommend watching the video I made on neuroscience. It will uh, be on the topic of showing how to program the nervous system. My own video on neuroscience for sports will go into how to program the body to flow uh, from these structures. I also recommend watching the videos I made before on software. There I went through how you can create stable and uh, healthy joints, the credits for music, videos and app I used in this video will be in description. I hope you find uh, the content interesting and uh, if you find any value in it I would greatly appreciate if you click like and subscribe or share it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.